climber's log. 18,000 feet. Approaching the tiny village of Cherku. Someone must still be here. Maybe someone who knows how to get to Todd Pa. Maybe there's news about Frank. Alright, hey guys, GSTAR321 here. And we are back with more Cursed Mountain on the PC. We're up to Chapter 2, Facing the Yogini. Straight away, turn around. We're going to do a little bit of backtracking because there are a few vases back here and one of them will contain an incense stick which is one of what I want to grab. This is another sort of isolated town that we have to make our way through. Okay, Cherku village. Not a bad level, pretty cool. There's going to be a lot more ghost fights in this one than there was in the previous mission. Chapter, sorry. Okay. So this one's going to be a little bit more action oriented than the previous chapter. Graphics are pretty fucking cool here. Mountains and shit everywhere. Here we go. Shit. Another fucking ghost there. A prayer spear. Meant to protect against evil spirits. Prayer spears. This hasn't been here long. Someone must still be alive nearby. Uh, healing shrine here. Not going to bother with it. I don't think there'll be any incense here. Walk up to this hole, you'll speak to a monk. Prayer spears no longer protect. Bad place hurts ignorance. Cut through ignorance. Cut through illusion. Frank Simmons, my brother, do you know where he is? He, your brother? That outsider? <sighs> Ask woman lives above village. Jomo Minmo. Brings me food. <laughs> Very powerful Yugini. Very holy. Thank you. I'm most grateful. I'll go look for... Stop! You not ready. God through ignorance. God through illusion. Otherwise die. Void not harm void. <laughs> void not harm void. I love that. It's great. Alright, so we have to seek out this person called Jomo Menmo. There's a shitload of... What were they fucking called again? Prayer... No, they weren't prayer sticks. Prayer spears. Prayer spears. Yeah. The shaman's trying to ward off evil. The shaman will know how to find Todd Pa. Okay, so we've got to try and find the village shaman and eventually Todd Pa, the monk. Ghosts. Shit. There will be no melee combat from me, okay? Like I mentioned in the previous chapter, it's a fucking nightmare because of the atrocious hit detection of it. So you'll always see me going into third eye like that and firing projectiles at them from now on. What's this? A dung heap as rotten and foul as everything else in this forsaken place. Shit. Literally, shit. <laughs> the ghost. 
this shit happens too much in this chapter, okay, where it'll have a little cutscene like it just did then and show you a ghost, then you follow the ghost, eventually fight him. It does become a little bit tedious in this chapter, okay, it happens very, very frequently. They even left their tools behind. So let's go over to this praying ghost. This guy spawns, yeah, really close. I'm just going to whack him. Let's see how it goes. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. We missed again. Let's try again. Alright, we got him that time. Oh, no. What do you know? Missed. Alright, fuck that. I'm not doing that shit anymore. Where did he... What the hell? Where is he? Fucking... Alright, so obviously I can do the compassion ritual you now and gain a bit of health back. Let's, let's do it and just note how much health I actually get back, okay? Just pay attention to my health bar. Okay, so as you can see, it really isn't that much. So, you can either do it on every single ghost you see, which is basically what I did in my first playthrough of this game, okay? Or, you can just ignore it and just kill the ghosts by you you know doing this and if you do this you really shouldn't be getting hit by them at all especially in these early chapters okay because it's not very difficult so for this entire chapter I will not be doing a single compassion ritual okay or healing myself at one of these shrines it's sealed with an unfamiliar symbol I can't break the spell yet Okay, so there's actually three of these doors in this chapter that are sealed. Okay, that one that I just had a look at. That one over there is also sealed. We cannot go there yet. And there's a ghost walking over there. Another ghost here, ghosts everywhere. And this door here is also sealed. Okay, there you go. So we can't go through there yet. over here nothing okay so to get the door open doors open I should say basically we need to go down that way but I'm not gonna go there just yet I'm just gonna do a little bit of exploring vase breaking and so on now I should explain at this point another reason why I'm not gonna bother healing or using the compassion ritual when killing ghosts is because in this chapter we actually come across a Buddha statue and let me just bring up my books here okay so as you can see we've got Lando Chronicles Expedition Notes Secret Visions Jomo's Prophecies and Frank's Diary now the Jomo Prophecies there's only nine of them okay to find these you have to come across these Buddha statues in the game and go into the third eye mode uh, go through performing the ritual okay then it will drop one of these prophecies you can read it also by doing that you will gain full health okay so there is actually a Buddha statue which we come across in this chapter you know where we go into third eye complete the ritual get this prophecy and full health so that's another reason why I'm not going to bother using health shrines or compassion rituals against ghosts in this chapter and on my first playthrough, I only found about, oh, I don't know, three, four of the Jomo prophecies out of nine, okay? So I did not find much at all. Um, shit. I was just going to say, I just noticed that a fucking um, incense stick here dropped out of the ghost. That's pretty rare, okay? In later chapters, you're, you're really not going to get be getting any incense sticks from ghosts so you know stock up on as many of these things as you can trust me because later on in the game it does get a little bit more difficult okay and you are going to need as many incense sticks as possible another ghost Yeah, 
Yeah, so as I was saying, my first playthrough, I only found about three or four of the Jomo prophecies, okay? So I only encountered three or four of those Buddha statues. They aren't... Look, what they'll do is, as well as increasing... Okay, look in the bottom left corner there. As well as filling up my health, what, they, what will happen is you will actually gain extra health. So as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks, okay? Nine blocks representing nine of the Jomo prophecies here. Okay, so nine Buddha statues you'll encounter in the game. Each one will heal you fully and give you an extra block of health, okay? So you'll increase your maximum health. So it's pretty cool to try and find them all, okay? When I completed the game, I only had uh, full health and one, two, three, three or four blocks, okay, so I was missing about five, four or five. Look, I didn't have any trouble completing the game, so it's obviously not really required to actually find them, but it would be nice to have more health, I guess, because later on the ghosts do start doing a lot more damage, okay, one hit will take away a big chunk of health. And the ghosts are more aggressive and fast as well, okay. Barricaded here, we can't go through. Ladder. Might lead to the shaman. 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 Shaman or shaman? I don't know. So anyway, that's where we need to go, okay. We can't get through this door. We've got to sort of progress all the way down there, make our way up the ladders, and eventually to where that shining light is, which is Jomo Minmo. Okay, and with all the Buddha statues, you know, the nine Buddha statues in this game that contain the nine prophecies, Jomo Minmo prophecies, I'd probably recommend to, you know, try and find as many as you can. I'm not familiar with all the locations of them. I'm not too concerned, okay. Oh, that's a pretty cool view we got here. Up there, that light. As we're running down this fi fixed Shame camera mode. Yeah, so as I was saying, look, it's not really necessary, okay? I wouldn't bother trying to find every single one. You're going to encounter some naturally, so it's no big deal. Okay, we need to go in there. Before I do, I'm just going to do a bit of exploring here. Vase breaking and so on. Ghost. Glitching in the floor bullshit. I don't like that. Just a few graphical glitches in this game, okay? It's no big deal. Not too distracting. <laughs> Obviously not vegetarians. Very good. Alright, so actually... Oh, here we go. This is actually where the first Buddha statue is, okay? There it is over there. Is there anything up here? No, okay. So let's go and have a look at it. We can actually press space to look. Statue of Aksobya, the Buddha of Wisdom. Alright, so it's glowing. We'll go into third eye here, perform the ritual. Alright, and there we go. It has dropped a Jomo Menmo prophecy. Let's pick it up. Jomo Menmo's first prophecy. Prophecy by Jomo Menmo, powerful yogini of Cherku village, which is where we are now. So let's have a read of that. The seeker enters a holy chamber that is both outside and inside. The sky dancer, she who moves in space, descends upon her servant. The ritual begins. The dakini spins into the darkness, into the black, down, down, fingers open to meet death. Just a bit of cryptic shit going on there. All right, so... As you can see, it just healed me fully and gave me an extra block of health, okay? So it increased my maximum life, which is really, really good. Very good. Just go over here, do a little bit more exploring. Should be some more vases, yep. Incense stick, beautiful. 13, that's really nice to have already. 
got a few from killing ghosts which like I said before is quite rare so if that happens you get lucky what the fuck the poor man the gate must have collapsed and killed him shit what a way to go fucking flies and shit everywhere as well not good alright let's take care of you and we'll go through that door now Anchors and shit up here on the wall. The Dakini named Machiglabdron. She's the founder of Chod. Padmas Bhava, the second Buddha, with his consort Yesh Sogyal. She reincarnated as Machiglabdron. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Hopefully I am. Pretty hard. Look at look how big that name is. Padmas Bhava, with the thanker showing the empowerment of Chod Mandala. Dewachan Puk. The cave of great ecstasy in which Padmas Bhava and Yesh Chog Syogyal achieved tantric rapture. Alright, an incarnation of Machig Labdron as the very powerful Lady Demoness. Okay, so this is the door here that we eventually need to go through, so let's just press space, see what happens. Find and destroy three symbols in the upper village. Okay, so that was those three doors that we couldn't get through at the start. So if I have a look at it, I need the seal that opens that door. If I could just remember where I've seen those symbols before, maybe the seal will be near nearby. Alright, so we have to make our way back up, go through each of those doors and collect a piece of the seal. So we'll get one piece from each door, each house and we'll combine those three seals to make the full seal and come back here and use it on the door. Pretty easy. Sealing ritual. Mingma Yangtze, disciple of Jomo Menmo, explains a ritual to seal doors and gates. Let's have a read of that. This ritual protects an entrance from unwanted visitors, hungry ghosts or fierce demons. The initiated one performs it in front of the entrance using the Katrika and the Kila, reciting the mantra of the goddess Tara. She seals the entrance yielding only to one who brings all parts of the seal. Okay. Let's get out of here now and make our way back up to the top. This is sort of the point where I wish he'd run a little bit faster. Okay really really slow jog which got on my nerves at certain parts in the game like here okay but look it's not too distracting I don't know I just wish there was a bit of a you know maybe like a sprint function where you could sprint for a little bit that would have been nice alright three ghosts here that we need to take care of completely missed there. Bit of a cooldown when you're firing these projectiles as well which is why I can't just fire them in rapid succession otherwise I'd be going crazy. All right. There's the other ghost in there. Ah oh, why not let's go melee this. Oh yeah. <laughs> shit. God love it. Yeah there we go. All right that's, fuck that. What a joke. Very, very bad hit detection. The melee combat. Let's go. Let's go. Compassion ritual. Let's get. Let's get a uh, two millimeters of health back. Why not? All adds up. Oh, I got a little bit back there. Actually, more than two millimeters. That was pretty good. 
Alright, so the three doors, the three houses, we need to go in this one, that one, and that one. But we'll go in the closest one here first. So to get it open, uh, third eye mode, perform the ritual. And we'll be able to go through. Fucking ghost. Shit. An abandoned cupboard. Nothing is so desolate as an abandoned home. What do we got here? No one left to eat all that now. Flies and fucking rats and shit everywhere. What a mess. No injuries that I can see. Did he die of fright? What the hell? Shit, can't see his face. Oh well. Fucking hell. <laughs> Shit. Wasn't really expecting that. Alright, we've got a journal here. Book. Cleansing the air. A housewife purifies her home. Let's have a read of that. In times like this, when the evil spirits roam the land, we must cleanse the air so demons cannot enter the house. We recite the mantra of the lotus. We light the incense in the bowl. Bowl. As the holy smoke spreads throughout the house, the air is cleansed of all evil and the unclean phantoms must remain outside. Okay. The body has decayed beyond recognition. Very unusual in the dry air at this altitude. Shit, that's fucked up. Very bad. So here is our first piece of the seal. Mahakala seal fragment. Fragment of a seal bearing the mark of Mahakala. Okay. And there'll be a ghost. Yep, there we go. Just take care of him. Very easy. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Get out of here. Shit, I think I hit the wooden hole there. Alright, there we go. Actually, I should probably be checking if they're dropping incense sticks. Because they do tend to do that. But it is rare. Okay. Oh shit, look at all that blood on the wall. Didn't even notice that before. Yeah, in these first couple of chapters, I have noticed that they do tend to drop incense sticks from time to time. So, you know, after killing a ghost, just make sure you check where you kill them if there's a red glow for the incense stick, okay? Because the more you grab, the better. Stock up on as many of those babies as you can. There we go. So, like I said at the start of this chapter, okay, there's a lot of these instances where you walk into a house or around a corner and a little mini cutscene showing a ghost shadow appears. The fuck, fucking plate, some shit broke. Yeah, oh, see, see, like this shit, it, it does get a little bit tedious in this chapter. Okay, I'm not gonna face him yet. Let's just have a read of this. Hungry ghosts. Uh, where is that? Predators and Yidags are the hungry ghosts. They are invisible and can only be seen in certain states of mind. They are poor creatures with a terrible hunger that can never be satisfied. They hate all living creatures and try to suck out our energy to feed their hunger. Shit, that doesn't sound too good. Thankers to help the devout meditate upon the Dharma. Thankers to... yep, same thing. Alright, let's go take care of this guy. Spawns right in front of me, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> Shit, where'd you go? Ooh. He's glitched in the wall. Okay, there we go. You can actually get hit by the ghost. It just happened to me then by actually walking into them, okay? Pretty annoying. So, another reason I don't want to get anywhere near, you know, close to them. Bad melee combat mechanics, and you actually get hit just from walking into them. Not good. Things that are precious to a family often have no meaning to outsiders. That's true. What do 
have we got here? Again, no injuries, but that face. He was in terror when he died. Let's have a look at that face then. I can't fucking see anything. Just looks like a mangled piece of shit. Looks ready to collapse at any moment. Follow this guy. Oh, what was that? Nothing but dirt and dust. Go in here first. Oh, sweet. Incense stick. 14. Very good. Take care of this guy. Shit. Alright. And here is the next seal fragment, the Paladin seal fragment, fragment of a door seal with Paladin Lamas, Lamos insignia on it. Alright, one more to go. So we will go in the last door, the last house, and get that final seal fragment. And we will then be on our way, completing this, oh shit. Spawned in an incredibly annoying location. I suppose that was the whole point of it though. Alright, so third eye this door. Z pattern. So the patterns are pretty easy at the moment, like it was just a Z then. Um, ghost here. And triangles and so on. What the hell? But later on in the game, the patterns do become pretty... So let's just... Yeah, so this is just a triangle, okay? So they're just really basic patterns here. But in later chapters, they do become pretty complicated. And there's been a couple of times where I've fucked up on them. Okay, especially in boss fights. A few tricky ones thrown in for good measure on those, on the boss fights. Once the center of family life, but no more. Fuck, another ghost. Jesus Christ. The curse brings death. A grandmother awaits her fate. Ever since the Westerner went up to the Sacred One, the days have been filled with darkness. A curse has blighted our valley. In the village, people started to see ghosts, and soon afterwards the deaths began. Such terrible pain, such cries of agony. We cannot run away. There is nowhere we can hide. The ghosts enter even the most protected houses. Our mantras are too weak. All we can do is wait, pray, and die. It's pretty fucked up. Not good, not good at all. Okay, another incense stick, sweet. Nothing is so desolate as an abandoned home. I've seen that message before. Alright, so we'll go upstairs. Now oh, there we go, there's the last uh, seal fragment. Yama seal fragment, a seal fragment with the insignia of the death god Yama. Okay, nothing else here, nothing there, alright. All seal fragments found, open the locked door in the lower village. Another ghost here to take care of. Shit. wonder if he walks up the stairs. Let's see. Or if he's glitched down there. What the f went through the fucking staircase, Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. Well, I guess he's a ghost, he can do that. But my fucking projectile can't go through the wooden... Ah, oh, shit. Can't go through the wooden beam. It's horse shit. Alright, so let's get out of here. I love these prayer flags here as well, like I don't know, it's just cool, the winds flapping them and shit. I like it. Oh shit. Okay, this is a pretty interesting thing that we're going to be getting in. That uh, 
that's happening now. Okay, so we've got three ghosts here. And as you can see, there's these symbols that appear. Okay, one, two symbols. So this is a ghost callo. You cannot leave until you have found and destroyed the spiritual symbols that bar the way out. And as you can see, we're slowly losing health, okay, the longer we take. Do not even bother fighting the ghosts, alright? All you want to do is go straight to the symbols, perform the rituals on it. Okay, it's just a waste of time fighting the ghosts. Find and destroy the two symbols, yep. So as you can see, ghosts are chasing us. Ignore them, because... We are losing health, so you don't want to spend any unnecessary time wasting fighting those ghosts. So here is the second one. And once we complete this ritual, that should be it. Yep, sweet. So let's head on back down to that door with our slow paced jog. I wonder how fast this jog actually is. I mean, he's never really panting or out of breath, so must be pretty slow. Oh, he's going at a reasonable pace, I guess. guess they just wanted to make the game more realistic. I don't know. I only find this to be tedious in this chapter, okay? Because, you know, we've got to run down that ramp, back up, and then back down again. But in the chapters following this, okay, it's really not a big deal. Not an issue at all. So let's go in here. Go through this door now. fucked up controls there. Incense stick, sweet. Is anything around this corner? Oh yep, one more vase. Oh, sweet. Okay, can't go in the door, so straight up the ladder. ghost easy as pie spacebar to jump and some more vases jack shit in that one can't go in the door What am I doing? Don't do that. I mean, the ghost is pretty close, so let's let's just do it. Fuck it. Surely at this close range. There we go. Took care of him. All right. Let's do a little bit of exploring in this area. Health shrine there. Don't bother. Okay. Not necessary couple of vases in there. What's over here? Is that another pile of dung or just hay? I don't know. Shit. Oh, shit, you bastard. You can sneak up on me like that. Get your fucking ass away from me. There we go. Okay, this is this is an interesting thing that we're facing here. 
I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what it does, what purpose this thing serves in the game, other than, I mean, I can't analyse it and press spacebar to look at it. It's not one of the, the Buddhist statues that will give me a, uh, let's bring it up here, a Jomo, a Jomo Minmo prophecy, okay? It doesn't increase your life. But let's, let's go ahead and do it and just see what it does, okay? So obviously we've got a form of ritual on it. Oh, you fuck. Ghost. Shit. Fucking got hit because I ran through him. Not good. God, where are you? Oh, let's do a compassion ritual. Why not? Let's get a bit of health back. Okay, so as you can see, it's dropped this red Buddha statue here. So let's pick it up. Wrath of Ekajati. The Wrath of Ekajati, the protector of mantras who has only one breast, <laughs> interesting, is a powerful weapon. Merely listening to the chants of her mantra destroys all obstacles, brings good luck, and intense religious enjoyment. Okay, that's that's all well and good, but like what does it do for me? I can't I can't actually use this item. Okay, look, merely listening to the chants of her mantras destroys all obstacles okay destroys all obstacles now if you look at my weapon it's gone this funky crazy color like it's I don't know what has happened to it but every time I pick up one of those Buddha statues okay the weapon goes like this I don't know what it does okay I mean I assume it does more damage I, I really don't know okay the game doesn't is quite vague on that Okay. It really doesn't affect anything. Okay, so here we go. We got a fight now with the ghost. And it's going to show us locations of incense pots, okay, with incense sticks in them. Obviously telling us to go ahead and light them. Now the reason I believe you have to do this for this part is because the ghost isn't visible unless you do so. So just go ahead and light them all. There's four in total, okay. So once you light them, smoke. Yeah, so there you go. You can see him a bit now. wonder if I can hit him. Yeah, so he's disappearing a bit. I think the more smoke that the incense burns, okay, and fills the room, the more that the ghost will appear. So there was actually two more here you can light as well and my weapon is still glowing this funky color I really want to know what the hell it does see and now it's gone so it seems to just be you know you pick up that red Buddha statue and it's this temporary it's this temporary thing that does God knows what fucking so annoying but you know I've completed this game no problem no troubles without even knowing what the hell it does so obviously it's not important in any way so we've got a book here or a journal secret door a villager protects his house secret visions yep when the curse came over the valley I protected all the entrances to the house Jomo Minmo told me how to do it the doors and windows are hidden so evil ghosts and dreadful demons can't get in only those with special knowledge can find the concealed entrances. An ancient statue and beautiful thankers of typical chod scenes. Alright, so that secret door is basically here, okay? You can see this thanko is flaming, so go into third eye. And we'll perform a ritual on it. And it will pave the way to a secret door, which we can go through. Health shrine there, who cares? Straight up the ladder. Vase over there, and a book. Cherku, diary note written by Frank. Let's see what Frank's got to say. If Eric were along on this trip, he'd say Cherku is a beautiful village with friendly people. 
He's always soft for local colour. He'd probably sit with them for hours and drink that god-awful butter tea and eat their yak grease and count himself luckily, lucky to be in one of the last unspoiled corners of the world. Not me. No telly, no movies, no corner shop. He can have it. Shit. Alright, so we're almost complete for this chapter now. Just got to make our way up to that shining light there. And before I do, just backtrack here. There's a vase. Hopefully it will contain an incense stick. You fuck. So that is where Jomo Menmo is, okay? That shining light up there. That's the village shaman, so to speak, that we've been looking for. So we'll make our way up there now. Nothing in that. Get ready here. It's like a quick time event. Press space to jump, okay? So I had to quickly press the space bar to jump over that. Oh, hang on, I could have a look at that. The bridge has been destroyed. There's no way back to the village. No shit. So we'll make our way up to the encampment now. Do a compassion ritual. <laughs> Two in a row. So, you know, we just had to do a triangle and like a Z one there. So two. Later later enemies in the in the later chapters, sometimes up to three, possibly even four, can't remember. And they're a lot more tricky, like I said as well. Not just the simple triangle or Zs more complicated ones. Alright, so before I go ahead and speak with Jomo Menmo, I just want to quickly check if there's anything around here. Jomo Menmo. I don't think there is anything here. Just want to be sure, but... No. Nah. Alright, let's go ahead and speak to her. Climber's log. 18,000 feet. Suddenly, the same queasy feeling I had at Bennett's. Some kind of drug then sense. She asked for something that belonged to Frank. Muttering, murmuring. Her apprentice, named by Yangzi, performed rituals with Frank. Prepared him to climb the sacred one. Feeling woozy. Only Jomo men can appease goddess. Pardon Lamo's wrath. She says follow but don't trust senses. Use in her eyes. Follow Jomo men <laughs> Follow Jomo men Alright, this is actually pretty annoying. She's got a fucking annoying voice as well. But this part is... I mean, all we're doing is walking. I can't run, okay? I can't hold the left shift key to run. Which just irritates me. Like, I find this section to be... Unnecessary. You know, it should... It might as well just be a cutscene, but I don't know. I guess they want to make it feel interactive or something. Whatever. But he just walks really, really slow. And she gets the shits with you for walking slow as well. But you know, fucking hell, if I'd run, I could. But. God. Christ. No shit.
Alright, so this is basically the end of the chapter here. Once we walk up into that sort of open round circle area there, we'll get a cutscene and an intro to the next to the next chapter. I really enjoy the next chapter. <laughs> what matter you? Good grammar there, Jomo Minmo. Love it. Very good. Yep. Oh shit, I can swing my fucking pickaxe. I didn't even know that. Can't go into third eye mode though. Can't run. Going as fast as I can. Alright, so here we are at the start of the third chapter, and we will leave it here. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.